I have been waiting for a while to tackle my own closet. This is like a hallway that leads into the main closet area. We redid this space about eight to ten years ago. It was all unfinished and we kind of transformed it. It has become quite the place to gain a lot of clutter though. There's a washing machine over here to my right. My husband's closet is here to my left. We're just gonna do this hallway today because I have so much more to do in the back room there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything out of this closet. I'm pulling some stuff for my whatnot show tonight. I'm also looking for outfits to wear to Mexico. I'm gonna do a try on video for you in a few days and we are going to declutter this entire closet. But let's get started. We have a lot of work ahead of us. To be totally honest right now, I'm feeling so overwhelmed because my whatnot show is at nine o'clock. So I'm not worried about Slow Fashion Friday, but I am worried about my show tonight. This is kind of pretty, but I don't see myself wearing it. This was like an Amazon dress. I think I wore it to like Rocco's confirmation or something like that. So I think I'm gonna sell that. This is a cashmere wrap sweater that I had for years. Look at this, look at under the arm. There's just holes. So that's a shame, but I did get a lot of use out of this. It was like a TJ Maxx sweater. Um, I guess this is gonna go. I have two cameras going here. I'm not sure which one I'm using the most. Okay, this is an INC sweater that had this like faux fur collar. This is a really nice sweater. I think I'll hold on to that one. This is just Old Navy. It's like a maroon colored sweater. Has some pilling, but I could start this at like $3 and I think it would do well. So that is for what not. We'll put it on top of Lumpy's <laughs> crate. This is just like a, like a poncho. I will definitely wear that. I'm gonna keep that. This is another thing I wear quite frequently. It's a really warm poncho. I often put it over um, like skinny jeans or my faux leather Spanx. It's kind of a really chic, timeless look. I've had the sweater forever and I thrifted it. I'm not really into the cold shoulder thing, but this is really cute, but I will sell that. Two years ago, I did a huge buyout of a friend and I loved this sweater. It's just Mac Studio in a large and it's a duster. It's just tight on me. I'm gonna sell it. This is a dress I wanted to like so badly. I think I will list this. Here's the tag. It's really pretty. This I think is Poshmark. I feel like I wear this a fair amount. This could be cute for Mexico. It's just like a cute little baby doll um, dress. It's just from Target, but I happen to like how it looks. This dress I actually just wore to Jay's holiday party, which is really cute. We'll save that. Um, I wore this dress by French Connection, one of the most comfortable dresses I have ever worn. You're gonna see how many of these caftans and um, kimono style pieces that I have, but that's really cute from Mexico. This is adorable. I love this. This is so Mexico. Now this is something from Free People that is super cute, but I tend to not wear it. Definitely thrifted this. This is gorgeous. I will try this on. I feel like I may have worn this at um, Angie's graduation. I know it's a cute dress. I like it. This Banana Republic dress, I actually thrifted. I think I wore this out for our anniversary with like a little black shrug and I have a really cute Instagram picture of it where my whole outfit was thrifted. This is really nice. I think when I first got this, it was new with tag. This is another Old Navy dress that kind of goes off the shoulders and it's very short. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This I actually wore to my dad's services. This is the Tasha Polizzi, uh kimono that I just bought last week out in Great Barrington. Definitely bringing this to Mexico. It's so much fun as well as this top. So I'm going to put these over here. This dress is so special. I spent over a hundred dollars on this. I think I got it at Neiman Marcus or Saks and I ordered it last year when Angelina was in Barcelona. It's so cool. It's a maxi dress with these little tie sleeves and a nice V-neck. It's so amazing. I wanna say that I got this for like half off. 
So I bought this to wear to Barcelona, uh, but we, we were supposed to go to Barcelona like a week before we lost my dad. So we had to cancel our trip when we knew he was really not doing well. And I never got to wear this. So Mexico will be perfect for this dress. And I promised Angelina that I'm still gonna go to Barcelona with her one day. This is Philip Lim for Target. I almost wore this the night of my 50th birthday. In fact, I had this dress on until about 20 minutes before the limousine arrived to bring us into Boston. And then I changed last minute. I'm really happy with what I changed into, but this dress is underrated. I'm glad I wore what I wore. Let me see if I can find that. I'll show you what I wore um, into Boston for my 50th. We went to the tall ships in Boston and it was so much fun. This is one of the prettiest dresses I've ever worn. It's tight on me, but I'm not getting rid of it. And I know you're not supposed to do that, but I love this. It's a Vineyard Vines dress. It's 100% silk. Honestly, I'm about 15 pounds away from wearing this. It was so flattering when it fit. It's got like a little V in the back. Uh, I just don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> There's still some hope on that one. This I can get rid of. Cute little cover up. I hope there are some people in the mood for um, summer. This is a really cute fresh produce wrap. I think I'll sell this on Poshmark. So Angelina and I both had this dress. It's Lily Pulitzer for Target, but this is so pretty. I just haven't worn it. I'm just not a big Lily person. It's very flattering. I just never wear it. And this I bought at Lily Pulitzer. It's new with tags and I've never worn it. Maybe I'll sell this on Poshmark and I'll sell this on Whatnot. I think it's having a hard time focusing. Okay, this is what I ended up wearing to my 50th birthday on the boat, which I think was much more of like a beachy boat vibe. My birthday is in July, so the party was July 8th. I love this, this was expensive. This is Veronica Beard and I bought it like the week before and then I thrifted that other dress, that Philip Lim, and I really liked the way that looked, but it was very like, it pulled me in, um, but I was more cautious of like my belly and stuff like that. And this was just so easy and I'm really happy with the decision I made. So this Veronica beard, I think I should probably take to Mexico too. I wore this for my son Anthony's high school graduation. I paid full price for this. He was my first kid to graduate from high school. How beautiful is this? This is a Lily Pulitzer. I can't part with this. And I feel like as I get older, I don't know, I feel like this will grow with, this will age with me, <laughs> like wine. Oh, here we go. Best dress of all time. My Mary Mecco dress. Oh my gosh, the amount of times I have worn this. I think I paid like $12 for this thrifting and I have worn this so many times. I always feel good in it. I always feel confident in it. Like I should buy this dress in four different patterns. Um, and this is not a pattern that I would normally go for, but it's such a standout. It's 100% silk. Probably needs to be professionally cleaned. I don't think this is very like Mexico vibes, but love this dress. Right, hey everybody, it is Friday morning. The sale went great. We are in the aftermath of the sale, preparing all of our things to go out. I just wanna show you some of the things that sold that I pulled from yesterday. These Lululemon camo leggings sold for $38. And this went in a bundle with these Lululemon leggings that sold for $31. Um, the white ones, the whitish gray ones that are buried under here, those sold for $21 and I will share with you more as we go. But I think I ended up listing about seven to 10 items from my own closet and the rest we have to put in another show because I ran out of time. So we're trying to fight the clock here to get these packaged up. Two more sales here from my closet. This only sold for $6, which was a little bit of a disappointment only because it's brand new and I bought it new. So that, that was a loss because if I had worn it, I would have felt fine, but <laughs> I never even wore it. This sold for $21. This is the Lily Pulitzer for Target. And I am appreciative for all of the sales, just kind of managing expectations. I think the only other thing that I pulled from yesterday's show was this Ann Taylor sweater. Oh no, the Gap sweater. Hi, Tina. Are you ready Hi, to do, are you ready to do our Q&A today? Oh, <laughs> did you, sure. Did you hear my, me say that in last night's I show? I did hear you say, say that, sure. <laughs> 
I have to post the questions, so we have questions to answer. Okay, we're, we're still going strong. It's been a few hours. Uh, Tina just left, and I'm wrapping things up. I, I look so tired. I am tired. I had a lot of adrenaline going through me after the Whatnot show, which did go very well. I sold 37 things in total, and I think my sales were $444, which is pretty consistent. I feel like my average selling price is always somewhere between $10 and $15, and two of those items were giveaways. So really, it was more like 35 items for $444. I'm gonna go for a walk soon, okay? I just gotta show a couple things things here. So I did manage to go through my entire closet. I did fast forward through some of it because it was just getting so redundant, um, but you got the point. And I shared a few stories of things that I was going to keep. These are all items for, you guessed it, my next whatnot show. There's 33 items here. If each of these items average $10, like most of my shows do, I mean, some should be a little bit more, some less. That's $330, and I don't have to do too, too much work for it. I know some of these comps seem very low, and they are, but business has been pretty slow, and I feel like I don't wanna just keep flooding my Poshmark closet. I wanna get rid of stuff. A lot of these items are things that I would normally take to a consignment store, I think at a consignment store, I would get around three to five dollars for each item, maybe even six. So I feel like whatnot, even though the prices are low, um, it is probably double what I would make at consignment. And for me, I have a good setup. I really don't mind doing in the hour of work. I do pay Tina for shipping. It took her about two hours to ship today. So that comes out of my profit. Um, but it's still worth it. Oh my gosh. You're so cozy and cute under there, honey. He loves like clothes on his head. He does this in my closet upstairs too. So there you have it. Now I'm gonna switch to a different view and I'm going to show you some of the items that I decided to sell on Poshmark from my closet. So it's that time of day that the sun is coming down, but this is an example of a piece that I pulled to sell. This was on sale, but the retail on this was $118. I probably bought it like six years ago. I've never worn it. Um, I wasn't going to chance that this was going to go for $20 in a whatnot show. So I did end up listing this. So this is just a draft. Um, actually, I did make this go live. I think I priced it at $98. It's new with tag. It's a size large. 90% of the listings on this dress are pre-owned and they're medium smalls and extra smalls. I would say that I would definitely get about $55, $60 for this. I'm going to shoot a little bit higher since it's new with tag and a size that seems a little bit more rare. These are some of the listings that went live today. Uh, this was the dress that I showed in my last video. These are all from my last retail arbitrage trip. Um, but in searching here, one of the dresses that I want to sell, sorry, this lighting is terrible. I'm going to go in a different room. <laughs> Hold on. This is a little bit better. So this dress right here is uh, Roberta Roller Rabbit. I'll show that here. I don't know if you can see the tag here. And I thrifted this a couple years ago. I kept thinking that I was going to wear it and then I never did. Roberta Roller Rabbit. This brand used to be really good. So what I'm doing right now is just looking to see what this is selling for and trying to figure out uh, where I should price it. So these are some comps, 25, 28, 35, 60. That's what I'm going for. These are just in 55, um, 29, 90 this one sold for. Yeah, they're all over the place with pricing. This one's silk, it sold for 45. I don't know if mine is silk. I don't know, maybe I'll price it at $65. Let's see what people are listing them for. 58, uh, so this one's at 35. There's really such a range, 70, 45, 65. I feel like I wanna be in that $65 range. Maybe 60, $64, I'll price this, okay. And then hopefully it will sell between like 40 and 50. This is a fresh produce dress. I don't even know if this one is worth selling. 
let's see, fresh produce, black wrap dress. Okay, here's my actual dress right there. There's quite a few of these. Okay, let's see the sold on this. $24, 24, 22, eight. That's not great. This is a nice photograph, 38. I mean, I would probably list it for $38 and then hope that it sells for about 30. So I think that's what I'm gonna do on that. That one's a little bit more straightforward. This right here is an older Athleta dress, but it has all ruching. It's actually a really nice dress and Athleta usually has the style numbers. It's from spring of 2016. Athleta black. Okay, here we go. Here's a ruched dress, 25. She has, oh, this might be my exact dress right here. I think ruching is with a uh, C. I think I did S first, but okay. Oh, here it is right here, 30. This is the exact one. So great that there's a um, stock photo, but solds are probably not that great. 26, now that is not bad. 28, and these are medium, 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 small, large, sold for 36, but that is sleeveless. Um, I think I'll do the 38 on that again, 38, and then we'll sell for about 30, hoping. I have a uh, Ann Taylor dress, but this is what I'm doing. So I have the 33 pieces that I pulled. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the Lily Pulitzer, seven that I'm listing. So that's 40 items. Then I have a whole pile for Mexico. We'll go through those numbers on another day when I do my Mexico try on, which will be in a couple days. And then um, the items that sold uh, totaled over a hundred dollars. So in total, I pulled over 46, 47 pieces from my closet yesterday. I'll go show you what my closet looks like now, but it was really a worthwhile thing to do. Oh, and I also uh, went through some leggings. So I'll show you the after and what my closet looks like. It looks really good now. Come on, Lumpy. We're taking a little break. Come on. It's the first day we've had sunshine. Isn't it so nice? It's so nice out. Come on. It's got to be at least 40 degrees. This is fantastic. He will always take the opportunity to lay with the dresses. Um, these are some of the pieces that I'm planning to wear to on my vacation. So we will try those on next week. And I have a little pile over here too. Some cover-ups, some kimonos, some black dresses. This is the little section that I have to go through next week, right, Lumpy? This is my laundry area. I put this curtain up because I didn't think that was very pretty back there. I don't know. And I added a shower curtain up there. It's kind of looked like this for years. Um, so this section I did clear out. I don't even know if I showed the before here, but it was piled with clothing. I did not address this here. We will do that on another time. As mentioned earlier, this is all donations, which is great. This room, I have the light out because there's so much to do there. But we're not talking about that today, are we? We are talking about what is behind this curtain. This is all part of the renovations that we did. I, I thought this would be pretty to put up a curtain rod. This was all very DIY back here. I stained all the floors myself. We repurposed these cabinets. These were in my mudroom downstairs and we painted them and repurposed it. Behind the curtain, I always close the curtain when it's a mess too. Here we are, ta-da. Okay, let's do some splaining. Bottom three, empty now, cleared those all out. Um, I sold three, four pairs of leggings in the Whatnot show. What I've noticed about myself is like, this is literally the only patterned thing I have for pants. I like dark on the bottom. So we're going to go with that. There's Lumpy again, playing. These are all the dresses that I have left. I left these hangers because, and I know they're not all the same. I'm sorry. It's not one of those videos today, but I left those hangers because once I go through all my stuff, 
from Mexico, I'm sure I'm gonna put things back in here and then we'll go from there. I have kind of my dressier things over here, like party outfits, party dresses. And then I kind of get a little bit more casual as I go to the left. Um, I used to have, well, I currently have a collection of teaks and I don't wear them all that much, but I kind of beat them up so you can see. I did sell one pair of teaks and they went for a couple hundred dollars, but what I wanna do is go through what I have um, and basically sell whatever's worth money and keep the rest because I do wear them. I just don't wear them as often. And I have all of the original boxes over here. I think I pulled these. These must be ones that I ran comps on. Uh, these are really cute. These are probably worth something, so I put them over here or just haven't worn them a lot. So I could even sell the boxes. Still have to go through this tower of um, pants. That looks really good over here, but I'm feeling really great. Do you guys wanna laugh at one thing though? So these are Ugg boots that, these are the first pair of Ugg boots I ever owned, these, and they're beautiful. I wanna pull them out because they're so nice. These I should sell. They're only worth like $35. I think I have a pair of listed and they haven't sold. I loved these cardigan sweater ones, but I'm happy with keeping those. This is what I wanted to show you. Hold on. These boots right here. They're just the classic tall Ugg. I tend to put my toe through a lot of my shoes and I'm like, oh, there's these are in good shape. My toe's not quite through those. And then I looked at the back. They're two different boots. I have no idea how I did this, but now I need to go downstairs and see what I have down there for Ugg boots and match them up and get rid of a pair. Come on. I think daddy's going to be home soon. Let's go see. Come on. Okay, so I could not find the match. I must have gotten rid of them, donated them. I think it's so me to have a mismatched pair of Ugg boots. I'm going to keep them and just wear them around the house and outside um, around here when I'm walking lumpy. I have a great lineup for you next week. I have a Goodwill haul. That's fantastic. And I'll also do my Mexico try on for you. And when I'm in Mexico, I will do a little vlog for you and include it somewhere during the week. So today I unloaded over 40 pieces of clothing. I already made $100 um, in my whatnot show last night in sales. I have an additional 33 pieces that are going to go into my next whatnot show that will hopefully be around $350 in sales. And I have all of those other pieces that I shared with you. I think it was like seven or eight items that I'm list listing on Poshmark. And hopefully that will be like three or $400 in sales for those, maybe a little bit less. Anyway, it all is clutter out of my house and hopefully some money in my pocket. So all worthwhile. The peace of mind that I'm getting as I clean each room is just so wonderful and I don't know why I waited this long. Thank you so much for being here. We have a little bit more to get accomplished. Let me know how you're doing with your decluttering or are you refraining from thrifting this month? Let me know how things are going in your neck of the woods. I appreciate you being here. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.